this channel if you're new here consider subscribing thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for supporting this channel if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing don't forget to press that bell notification bell you'll always be the first to know when i upload a new video thank you so much for the returning subscribers i appreciate thank you so much sir for the new subscribers consider subscribing to this channel for the latest information you will not be great in today's video uh one of the subscriber asked me a question and this is actually what i have to, to respond to he said what is the best time to look for a job in Qatar? what is the best time to look for a job in Qatar? remember when we talk about the job searching when we talk about searching for the jobs searching for greener uh, pastures searching for 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 the way library we can improve ourselves it starts within us it starts by you getting prepared for that job search what prepares you is having the documents that will enable you to get that job or having the requirements in case you get that opportunity i talked about the documents needed for you to apply the job you can check in the description below to check in that video but in today's video we are going to look at what is the best time for you to search for a job in Qatar. when we talk about this job searching remember we have what we call the personal searching and we also have what we call the online searching but the searching of a job or a particular job in any gulf country starts immediately when you think you need to have that job that was that's what i will tell you it starts immediately when you think it is the right time for you to look for that opportunity or it is the right time for you to start up the opportunity or to compete with other people for the same opportunity so there is no best time it is the time right now that you have to start to search for that job this is what i have to let you know years keep on passing days keeps on moving time keeps on moving it will really get get back so remember the best time to start searching for a job anywhere will be the time when by yourself you are more hungry to get that job but remember we are talking about the covid pandemic era we are talking about the covid 19 era things have changed completely they're not like how it used to be i talked about the best option for you to access a job for example right now in Qatar, it is having what we call a work visa but how do you get that work visa that is a question that should be answered and how is it going to be answered it should be answered between me and you to get the right answer this is one also one of the part of the requirement that you have for your job search at one moment of time remember we are looking at this era of the pandemic of the covid 19 pandemic where there are a lot of restrictions where we do not have these uh, must, uh, reduced working hours by given offices according to what the situation approves in the given country or what is the situation in that country but remember you also need to follow what you call the SOPs you need to follow the guidelines of the Ministry of the Public Health but when we talk about the job searching right now yes the opportunities are there but how do you get that opportunity we are looking at a scenario now for a person who is not in Qatar a person who is outside Qatar how do you get that access to that opportunity so that you can also compete with the people who are in the country because they have more chances the new people is out for you a person is out to access a job and this is exactly what we're talking about how do I get that opportunity how do I access that opportunity that is where our main discussion would go remember we talked about the, uh, the, the, uh, the work visa and what I can let you know or what I can tell you with the situation that we have now do not waste your money on a tourist visa in Qatar it's going to be costly for you and you may not end up if you're unlikely enough you may not end up getting a job why first of all for you to have a tourist visa right now you need to be vaccinated you need to have 
vaccinated. Because they'll ask for your vaccination cards, your vaccination certificate, they'll ask for it. And those vaccines must be the ones that are approved by the, the, the Ministry of uh, Public Health in Qatar. Those are the vaccines that will be accepted. So you coming from your country of origin, you must know that you must be vaccinated using the same vaccine that are accepted in Qatar. Still, if you're coming on the tourist visa, you'll have to, 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 to look for a medical insurance for yourself. It's one of the requirements right now. You will also need to have booked a hotel for you, for yourself, in case you are coming from a, a exceptional or red list country for quarantine, which is quite well going to be very expensive. But that is not our main point of discussion. It is just to show you that you going through that way, it may not work for you right now in this period that we are in. What is the best option? We are looking at the best option for you to have a job in Qatar very fast to have the opportunities around. One, you need to have what you call a work visa. And how do you get a work visa here in Qatar? I'm going to get through the seven steps for you to get a job very fast. One, the only thing, the only time, the only thing to come to Qatar right now for a job is you finding a job posting for by an employer. Find out that employer has posted a job. It may be online. It may be in the newspaper. You apply. When this employer advertises that job, you'll post what you call your CV. That's why it's always very important for you to keep updated your CV. You should have your CV with you, updated all the time. You post your CV. Your CV will be crystallized through. They will get through your CV. If you're lucky enough for that time, and your CV is picked out. This person will give you what we call an interview. What is happening now is interviews are done on Skype, on mobile, uh, and you know, this is what we are getting through right now. So we are looking at you as a person who has gone through that interview, and you pass the interview. So when that employer who has advertised the job gives you an interview, and you pass the interview, he chooses you as the best candidate, then he's going to give you what we call a job offer. When he gives you a job offer, or when he sends you a job offer, wherever you'll be, that job offer, you'll countersign or you'll accept the role given to you. You'll accept the conditions given to you. When you accept those conditions by that employee, you'll send back the job offer that I've accepted to work for you. So after receiving that job, you sign that job, you accept the job offer, then you will send back the job offer. This employer will gain work for you, a work visa. He will work for you, a work visa. He will send you a work visa plus the ticket with it. So when you get that ticket and the work visa, then you are free to come in, freely without even a hassle, because that company, that work visa, that employer of that company that has recruited you will be able to pay up the rest. The quarantine bills, uh, the ticket bills, the work visa bills, all those are going to be paid by the country, the company or the employer. Meaning that you will not have an extra cost of spending in this pandemic era that we are in with a lot of restrictions, with a lot of flight restrictions. Flights are very expensive here and there. So that means you jump out of that hassle at that time. as the only best option for you to come right now in Qatar. So when the job offer is accepted, they will formalize all your documentations, they will sign up everything, then they will send for you a ticket and a visa then you'll be able to come in freely to the country and set up your new job. Hope I've tried to answer you the question rightly. I would not like to see someone spending a lot of money on the tourist visa. You may not be successful if you're on a tourist visa because it will lack a lot of conditionalities. You will have a medical insurance for you to prepare medical insurance before you come in, before even accepting. There are some countries that are not accepted even to come because they're being listed in the red list and exception red list. So that means you have to incur a lot of costs. 
So the best option for you to come right now is getting an employer who's going to give you a visa and who's going to give you a work visa, who's going to buy for you a ticket and who's going to pay for you everything. After that, employer has advertised that job. Hope I'm very clear. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Don't forget to tune in this channel. Always tune into this channel for the latest information. See you again when we tune into another video. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, if you're new to this channel. Makes from the Makes Creation. See you again in another video.